So here are my rhubarbs. I harvested about 300 grams of stalks, not including the leaves, which are massive. If I can show you, I haven't filled up the water in this one yet, but if you can see in there, the roots are just not happy. It's not really focusing, is it? The roots are not entirely happy in there. We do have some white growth, but they're turning brown. Uh, that can be a number of reasons, but in this case, it usually means that you're going to need an air stone in your hydroponics. Now, I've been growing these for three months now, I think, from seeds, so they do grow. They do survive, and you can put a, what is it, hydrogen peroxide, H2, H2O2, I think it is, uh, dihydrogen, whatever. You can put that in there and that will help the roots and stop some of the gnats and stuff forming in there a little bit. It oxidizes the water, but you're going to really need like air stones ideally for long term growth. But like, if I can show you, this leaf here, oh you can't even get it in camera. This leaf here alone, that's, that's my hand spread out and that's not even like a quarter of the leaf. So you are getting really good growth. I did cut the biggest stalks yesterday, but you can see just how thick some of these stalks are. Now this variety is the green stalk variety, not the red. So typically the, the stalks aren't red like what many people would see on them. And for watering, I've got cat one, cat two here assisting me today. For watering, I use Maxi Grow General Hydro, and I get one spoon, one small spoon, and this is an IKEA bucket, I believe, two liters. And what I've done is actually IKEA buckets here as well. This is, I believe, the Sorterra range. If I lift this up, and I've just painted them black. I spray painted these, a bit donkey on the top. Here's a good example of my other rhubarbs, but basically I maintain my water level to here. Uh, when I first plant my seedlings, I put it here, I let it drop to this edge, I don't know if you can see the, the lines on it, let it drop to this line and then I maintain my water level around here. If you put your water level higher than that, I can see the line on the inside where I'm watering it to. If you water higher than that, you are likely to actually start drowning your roots, which will cause more root rot issues. So if you maintain your water level, it's the best option. The plant with two rhubarbs growing, they honestly are a bit squished. I really need more buckets. I'm watering them about probably a litre a day. So they go through a lot of water, these ones. Um, the singular plant, he grows probably the best, I would say, and 500 mils a day. Basically, I get this two litre bucket and I pretty much water both plants, or all three buckets, maybe even four buckets with one can of water a day. 